If you need to export the audio of a video clip to an external audio editor for cleaning, restoration, or for whatever, you'll first have to do a mix down of the audio to create a WAV file. You can only use the feature Edit WAV externally with audio files, and a video file is not an audio file. The external audio editor is set under Program Settings, Folder, Audio Editor. The default editor is Music Editor 3, but you can change this to SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab or Samplitude Pro X if you have one of these. Let's look at a couple of ways to do this in Magic's Movie Studio Platinum or Suite 2023, which also applies to Movie Edit Pro Plus or Premium and Video Pro X. For the first case, there's nothing on the timeline. Under Program Settings, Video Audio tab, the box beside Video Audio on one track is unchecked. I prefer to work with Video and Audio on separate tracks but you can keep them on one track if you prefer. Load the video file that contains the audio that you want to send to an external audio editor. The audio part will be on track 2. Right click on the audio part on track 2 and Edit WAV externally doesn't show up. We need it available so we have to create a WAV file. Use the shortcut Shift D to do an audio mix down. Explorer opens and a file name is proposed. This is the project name, so you want to change it. Select the folder where you want the WAV file and temporary files to be, and change the name before the extension to whatever the source clip was, so that you know which video clip the WAV file should be connected to. The extension must be .hdp, and press Save. A WAV file will be created, and it will replace the audio that was on track 2 with the WAV file. Note that the WAV file is red. Select the two objects and group them, or use shortcut G. Right-click the audio object and you'll see that Edit Wave Externally now shows up. Selecting it will open the file in the external editor. Editing the file in the external audio editor is a topic for another tutorial. Let's do case one again, with video and audio on separate tracks, but with other objects on the timeline. I've added a video onto track 1 and an overlay file, reduced in size, onto track 3 below the first file. The audio for each is below the video on tracks 2 and 4. Load the video file that contains the audio that you want to send to an external audio editor. The audio part will be on track 2. I'll move the video clip on track 3 to be below this file. This clip has audio, so the audio on both tracks 2 and 4 will play at the same time. Go to the start of the object and press I to set the beginning or end point of the range. Go to the end of the object and press O to set the out point of the range, if not done by default. This will limit the mix down to just the range. We want to mix down just the audio of track 2, so solo track 2 by clicking on the S in the track header. The object is now isolated. This will limit the mix down to track 2. This step is only required if there is audio on another track within the range. Use the shortcut Shift D to do an audio mix down. In the dialog box, select Range and Continue. Explorer opens and a file name is proposed. This is the project name, so you want to change it. Select the folder where you want the WAV file and temporary files to be and change the name before the extension to whatever the source clip was so that you know which video clip the WAV file should be connected to. The extension must be .hdp and press save. A WAV file will be created replacing the audio that was on track 2 with a WAV file. The red WAV file will show up on track 5 or on the first empty track. Drag it back up to track 2 aligned with its video object. Select the two objects. This is the video clip on track 1 and the WAV on track 2 and group them or use shortcut G. We don't want them to go out of sync. Turn off Solo in the track header and you'll now have both the audio WAV file created for the video clip plus the audio of the other clip playing. You can now right click on the WAV file of track 2 and send it to the external WAV editor. Again, editing the file in the external audio editor is a topic for another tutorial. If you don't want the audio on track 4 of the other clip, 
you can turn down the audio to the bottom using the audio handle of the object. If you also want to get the WAV file for the video clip of track 4, then you have to set the range just for this clip, turn on solo for track 4, and do the mix down, and so on. There is another way to do this, but it's a bit more laborious. You have to do an export-import. If there's more than one object on the timeline, set a range to isolate the object. Turn on solo in the track header of the pertinent audio track, as before, and if necessary. Go to File, Export Movie, select Audio as WAV. Click on the Folder button and navigate to the folder where you want to store the WAV file. The project name is proposed by default, so change the name to be the video clip name .wave. Note the other parameters, including export selected range only, which you should check if you've created range, and normalize. I suggest that you not normalize right now. You can do so in the internal editor or later. Do not change the sample rate. Audio for video is supposed to be 48 kilohertz. OK and the WAV file will be created, but not put on the timeline. Navigate to the location where you put the file and drag it onto the timeline directly below its associated video. Note that you now have the original audio and the newly created WAV file. You can turn off the original audio or right-click on the video part, not the audio, Audio Functions, Remove Audio Object. Now you can drag the new WAV file directly below the video clip and group them. You can now right-click on the WAV file and send it to the external WAV editor. One last point. I use video and audio on separate tracks. If I want to mute the audio of all video clips on a track in Movie Edit Pro or Magic's Movie Studio, turning on Mute for the track will mute both video and audio. Thus, I have to have the audio on a separate track to do this. That's it for getting the audio of a video file extracted or mixed down to a WAV file to be able to send it to an external audio editor. Thanks for watching. Till next time, enjoy.